Hello, my name is Yue Huang. I'm an associate professor at the Institute for Transport Studies at the University of Leeds. I am the program leader for MSc Transport Planning and Engineering. Um, in the next few slides, I'm going to give you an introduction to the course and some of the key features we offer in this course. Aim of this course is to educate people from a wide range of disciplines. Um, our students really come from all backgrounds, engineering, economics, geography, psychology. And to be honest, many of the problems and challenges we are facing nowadays as a sector can only be addressed if we are joining the forces and the skills from um, people from all backgrounds. So um, our purpose is to, we're going to teach uh, you knowledge and skills, but we're also going to inspire you. So we can, you can bring your expertise to the transport sector and prepare yourself for a career in the transport. On the other hand, we understand our students have a different background, interests and career aspirations. And this is why in this course, we offer some freedom to people uh, so that they can choose what modules they want to study and what topic they want to do for their dissertation. In terms of why ITS at the University of Leeds, well, we are the largest provider of master and PhD education in transport in the UK. We have more than 70 member of staff in the department. Um, in the research excellence framework 2021, we contribute to both engineering and the geography. And 97% of our research outputs in engineering and 93% outputs from the geography are recognized as world leading or internationally excellent. Um, the Leeds is a, a large, vibrant city in the north of England, and it sits on the, the main corridor, both road and rail. So in terms of uh, the city itself, is an example of a pivot point in the transport network. For the course itself, um, it has 180 credits of study. Um, you have both full-time and part-time options. Um, if you're doing full-time, then in the first semester, you're going to learn four modules, all are compulsory. And in the second semester, you're going to do one compulsory module. And then um, you're going to choose a three out of eight optional modules for the second semester. The dissertation is a year-long module, which is a 60 credits. The compulsory module you are doing in the second semester is this transport integrated project. In this module, you're going to work in a group where students are on different program of study. They come from different countries and the optional modules they are doing in the second semester are also different. So really, this is um, a multidisciplinary intercultural working environment. Um, you're going to be able to, um, you are going to uh, consult with um, subject experts um, at ITS and your group um, is going to be mentored by an uh, experienced member of staff in the department. Um, you are expect to develop technical skills um, as, as well as the softer skills such as project management, um, communication and leadership. So in the past few years, we offer a few different projects in this module from the city square development to the White Rose shopping center rail links and to the more recent park and ride and, and, and then the current year, the mass transit project we are doing. So you are applying what you've learned in ITS to solve some real problems we are facing. The dissertation module bears 60 credits and it's a year long module. 
uh, you are going to work with your supervisor and identify a topic of interest, uh, develop methodology, and carry out the work. One of the benefits of doing master in transport at ITS is that you will be offered a wide range of topics, um, almost covering every aspect of transport. Okay, um, but on the other hand, we understand some students may have uh, their own interest um, in which we'll accommodate that by appointing you to a supervisor who um, who are willing to support um, to supervise you on the topic you suggested by yourself. This course is accredited by the Joint Board of Moderators as a further learning towards a chartered engineer. So this should help your professional development um, if that's the route you want to pursue. So over the years, the success stories by our alumni um, uh, go on and on. And really our graduates um, are located worldwide in both the public and the private sectors. So they work in consultancies, contractors, local authorities, transport departments, banks, and the universities. We understand doing a master course is a big decision, and especially if you come from overseas. So um, to give you a taste of what we teach at ITS, um, the department developed an online taster course a few years ago um, called Transport Systems, Global Issues and Future Innovations. And the course is freely available on Future Learn. Um, it was developed for all the master transport master courses at ITS. However, um, it does have a few modules um, in the course that's specifically developed for the engineering stream. Um, after it was released, um, uh, it was recognized by both um, professional educators and the people who use the course um, as one of the best online courses of all time. So if you are interested in doing um, a master with us, I suggest you have a go with this taster course. So finally, as the program leader, I'm more than happy to answer any questions you may have regarding this course. And so will be our admission team um, to support you in uh, making your decision. Um, so thank you for watching this uh, presentation and I hope to see you soon in ITS.